I kept thinking while I was dreaming that all this meant something. Of all the things that float through our heads, dreams are among the most mysterious. I can't make out just what sort of a place it was. The ancients thought the images in dreams were a tip-off from the gods about impending events. But it was Sigmund Freud who recognized that rather than being a form of telepathy, dreams came from within our heads. One hundred years ago today, Freud published his treatise on the subject, The Interpretation of Dreams. He called dreams the royal road to the unconscious, albeit a fairly dark and dangerous road at that. In Freud's view, dreams were full of hidden meaning and repressed desires. Freud employed that theory in his own treatment of patients called psychoanalysis. He told one disbelieving client that a dream he had had of wolves sitting in a tree stemmed from a traumatic childhood experience of watching his parents make love. Freud's work spawned a movement, but later advances cast doubt on his theories. Today, neuroscientists have tools like magnetic resonance imaging that let them observe the brain at work and some of the physiological processes that produce dreams. That evidence suggests a real biological basis for many of the dream phenomena Freud described, even if his analysis of what dreams mean still seems wide of the mark. Many scientists believe that dreams occur mainly during regular sleep episodes, known as REM sleep, for rapid eye movement. Parts of the brain that control emotion are then highly active, while other parts that control functions like logic aren't. That could help explain some of the very hallmarks of dreams that Freud identified, such as strange imagery and a collapsed sense of time. What still isn't clear is what, if anything, dreams mean, or what, if any, purpose they serve. And a century after Freud waded into the topic, it could still take years to find out.